Okay, what up ladies and gents, it's your favorite Asian robot right here. Hopefully your favorite official content creator for the first Ascendant. And today, what I'm going to talk about is where I go to farm gold, kyber, XP, all that kind of stuff. Many of you have asked, what is my farming location? Well, my farming location was taught to me by Yuri, my friend. And quite frankly, there is no real difference between my farming location and those of several other content creators that have talked about it. It's called the Bunny Road. And I'm going to show you where to find it, how it works, you know, what do you need to build for it, all that kind of stuff. So let's get into that. But as always, before we begin, if you like my content, all right, and you want to support, you want to see more, register as a supporter. The link is in the description of the video. Every supporter that I get helps me on my journey. But I leave it to you. All right. Thank you if you decide to support me. Now, let's get into this. First and foremost, what you're going to need to know is where is the Bunny Road? The Bunny Road is called the Abandoned Refinery Unit, all right? and you go from the abandoned zone now it's best to do this in hard mode this is where you will get your gold kyber weapon xp uh well you need bunny for it so the only descendant xp you're gonna get is bunny but mostly your weapon xp and also precision code breakers things like that basically everything that you need uh for most of your stuff is gonna drop here okay so this is the location now you know where it is what are you actually gonna need to go through the bunny road okay Obviously, you're going to need bunny. Um, you don't have to have an ultimate bunny, but you are going to need certain mods. I'm going to go through them. So if you look at my Descendant module page, I'm going to show you. This is a preview of like the upcoming endgame bunny build. Um, this is the farming variant. But for the farming variant, basically what you will have is that you'll have nimble fingers for skill cooldown, obviously. Midair maneuvering just makes you faster. Um, technician, which will boost your skill power. You'll want skill expansion because range is extremely important here. You also want amplification control because skill range is important, and electric specialist. All right. Increased hit points, spear and shield are pretty standard for every single build, and the rest is HP collector and HP amplification is a leftover from the bossing build, but I just added them in because why not? Uh, if you really don't, like, if you really want to be efficient and you don't want to spend too many points, you can actually take these two out and then just max out amplification control for even more range so that you basically hit the whole map, you know, uh, without really trying too hard. Electric charge is an extra, which you can have, uh, it's just fairly useful to have in this particular regard, but, you know, that's okay. Um, we're going to exit without saving. For your external components, just go for the usual hit points, all right? I've only got defense on my fridge. The rest is, uh, all, well, defense here as well, but it, that's because I haven't replaced this with max hit points. Realistically, you don't need too much defense. Um, for Bunny, anything above 16,000 is is already good, good enough for her. She mostly stacks uh, hit points anyway. So this is what you'll this is what you'll be running for your reactor. Try to get skill effect and duration increase. Uh, skill effect range is probably most important because this will actually allow you to dish out your damage over a much wider area. Otherwise, the radius of your ring is quite a bit smaller than you might need for farming. Okay, so just be aware of that. Your weapons don't even matter because you won't even be using them. You can put in any weapon as your farming weapon XP. Like I'm trying to rank up my Python again so I can catalyze it again. So I just put that in there. Okay. So that's about it. That's all you will literally need to in order to uh, go through the bunny road. Let's actually do an example of the bunny road and you can you can see how it is. We'll do a couple of runs so that you guys can familiarize yourself with the road and how it works and all that. So let's get into it. Uh, here's Echo Swamp, private. Let's go. Abandoned zone. Whee! <laughs> Sorry, I've got nothing better to do while waiting for the loading screen. As you guys know, I don't like doing video cuts because no point is already a short enough video. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll come down here. Now, this is just a private run. You can do it with other people as well. Start mission. I like to just go private because for me, when I farm Bunny Road, it's like Zen mode. Okay, so depending on what type of elite spawn, right, they'll have like obviously... Um, like, the time to completion will change depending on the type of elites that spawn. But basically, all you want to do is just go through this road. And because you can actually kill things uh, that are below you with the range increase... <coughs> excuse the coughing, still recovering. But although, because you can kill things that are below you, it's fairly easy to just zip-zap-zoom. Now, you must cross this entrance even after killing all the minions for the next region to spawn, which this is the one thing that uh, screws up a lot of individuals. But once you get to this point... They'll all spawn fairly fast, and then you can just murder your way through them. Alright, just like that. 
And with enough skill duration, you know, things will just last. And there you go. That's it. The mission's complete. And what you do is that within this time period, in about 53 seconds, you've earned about 55,000 gold. It varies between 50,000 to 70,000 gold, depending on what you pick up along the way. But you just basically reset. And if you think about it, in, say, let's say you only get the lowest possible gold amount of only 50,000, right? Then if it was, even if you only got like 50,000, right? Within 10 minutes, you would have 500,000 gold. So within 40 minutes, that's 2 million. Are you starting to see the value of this? It's a bit boring, but, well, it's a bit more boring compared to the Valvi run that was previously available, but, well, at least, uh, you know, there is still a farming location, right? So you need to kill everything, and once you've killed everything, then you see that. Once this marker spawns, then you know that you're in the all clear. So now you can just go absolutely ham. Try and use your double jump as well, and there you go. So the gold amounts vary now. Very rarely you get 46,000. It just depends on what you pick up because the drops are a bit randomized. And sometimes you will have to go and get the drops. Like I didn't actually get the drops that were down there, so it'll probably bounce out the next round. But if you start too fast after after using your ability, right, you have to spend a little time before it comes back online. So cooldowns are pretty important here, especially if you want to do this as fast as possible. Even if you go slow, all right, it's okay. But just remember that there's a whole section of dudes down here. So this can be where a lot of your missing gold goes off to. Now, if you don't care about inventory or drops at all, you can just ignore inventory clearing, which will probably end up making you a lot more money. Um, but if you do care about inventory and drops, then you probably have to do an inventory clear every three or four runs, depending on uh, how much space you have. If possible, I will try to avoid using my ability at the end. Alright, even if it's a bit more annoying. There you go. And just like that, 67,000. So it makes up for the previous one. Like I said, on average, you're going to get about 50,000 to 70,000 per run. On average, it's about 55,000-ish if you really want to do the calculations. You can get plenty of code analyzers and all that kind of stuff. And Kyber, well, you get it mostly from the mods that drop. Like, you can just sacrifice all the mods you get. You'll get tons of Kyber as well. I mean, realistically speaking, you're getting about 2k, 2k Kyber per run. Within 10 minutes, that's um, 20,000. Within 100 minutes, that's 200,000 Kyber, just without using the mods. But if you were to sacrifice all the mods you get, you can end up with quite a lot, including like the potential transcend mods, the gold drops, all that kind of stuff. So this is the Bunny Road. Uh, that was a short farm of the Bunny Road as well, so you guys can see that. Uh, thank you very much. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you farm the gold you need. I hope it helps you farm all the weapon XP that you need and all that kind of stuff. So the Python went up an entire level in those few minutes. Uh, if you keep on doing it, you'll have all your levels in no time at all. So like I said, this is how we do it. This is how we do gold farming. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, if you enjoy my content, don't forget to become a supporter. Link is in the description of the video. As for those who have supported on stream, you know, my top supporters, my top donators, they get into a list and are displayed on every stream in the description. All right. They'll be getting shout outs on videos. Uh, hopefully I'm going to start again next month, you know, once my throat heals a bit more. And of course, thank you to our top tier channel members, people like George, Arcane, Nisk, BVS, i3, okay, Kyle Gross, Arcane, you know who you are. Thank you guys so much. Our top, top channel members keeping us in business. I'll see y'all in the next one, okay? Y'all have a good one. Catch you later.